Check it out, we are visiting the oldest Chinese restaurant in all of Chicago. on Irving Park Road in the North Center neighborhood. This is Orange Garden and they've been open since 1932. We got a whole feast on the way, but we started off with a couple of soups and some tea. We got some oolong tea over here. It's, it's really, really good. Already had coffee earlier this morning. The tea is nicely flavored. It's kind of mild. It's an oolong tea, which is typically a lot stronger, especially that barky taste, but this one is nice and smooth and easy. We got a couple of soups to start off our meal today. This is the wonton soup right here. And then we got an egg drop soup as well. Both of these soups smell incredible. And I've actually been tasting the wonton soup as we were setting up the camera and everything. And it's really, really good. We've been wanting to come to Orange Garden for a very long time. It's one of these Chicago institutions and we decided to come on a beautiful Sunday. So I had to break it up to make it more bite-sized. Mm. It's good, I love it. It's a nice clear broth and there are green onions in here and of course the wontons. I think they're filled with like a, well, some kind of meat mixture. I'm not sure if it's pork or beef or combo or what, but it's really good. It's a simple soup. It's a nice appetizer. I like it. This is the soup that I grew up eating all the time. Whenever we ordered Chinese food, I was the one that specified we got to get egg drop soup, but I'm used to having it in that long cylindrical plastic container. This is so yellow from those egg yolks. All right. Mmm. It's a very eggy flavor. It's good. I'm gonna put a little hot sauce on my spoon. Try it with that. Good with the hot sauce too. It's like a spicy chili pepper sauce, I would say. Yeah, this is good. Mm, I can't decide which soup I like better, actually. I'm glad we ordered both. We decided, hey, we're gonna come to Orange Garden and film it for the channel. We, we can't just order one or two dishes. Good egg drop soup. It's definitely way different flavors from the, the other soup, so I'm glad we got both. I'm really glad. As soon as I walked in here, I was just really appreciating the decor. It's very vintage. As a kid growing up, most of the time I got Chinese food, it was takeout or delivery. Once in a while we'd go to a restaurant, but this is like what I picture. It's so lovingly preserved in here. It's a cool vibe, love it. All right, we got our egg rolls over here. Cannot wait to try this one. Look at that. Nice and hot, fresh out the oven. Should I wait to bite into it? It's oh, probably really hot. Does it feel like it's yeah. really okay? Don't burn your mouth. <laughs> now, I did grow up eating wonton soup, trying to break it apart, because these are giant wontons. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Smells just like I remember. Gotta have the green onions too. That is key. Mm, I like that. Real good flavors. I also used to take these noodles and save bits of it. So I would eat the pieces of meat and like kind of have a spoon with just noodle. I have a separate stomach for soup. <laughs> Even if I'm really full, I can eat more soup. <laughs> Some people say that about ice cream. My second stomach is for soup. The trick here is because we're gonna have so many dishes, we're gonna be like doing a little musical chairs kind of thing. But the egg roll, wow. This is like the favorite item of mine. That's the weird way to phrase that. <laughs> Basically, I'm trying to say when I was a kid, egg rolls were my favorite thing 
to eat from Chinese restaurants. And even if they weren't, you know, Chinese Chinese and they're more American Chinese, like this is just the anticipation is killing me, guys. Will it hit that nostalgia button or will it be something brand new? Let's see. Mmm. This egg roll is stuffed. I'm gonna add some of this sauce. Hopefully it's not too spicy. But yeah, nice and crunchy on the outside. We got them hot off the fryer. And I gotta say, it's reminding me a lot of those egg rolls I ate growing up. Um, I'm guessing there's like cabbage in here and then a beef and pork mixture. Mmm. Mmm. The soup is still working, right? Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Mm hmm. That's really good. Mm. It's funny because when I was a kid, this was the size of the egg rolls. Like, this to me was standard size. And then later in life, I learned about what spring rolls were or smaller egg rolls. and. It was always weird to me because this is the size that, to me, this is an egg roll. And I, it's just because I grew up with that. And the ones that I had, I think they had more of a mix of vegetables. This seems to be just the cabbage, I'm thinking, because I don't see any other different colors. Um, but like Nerissa said, it has a nice thick wrapper and it's fried great. It's, um, it's got that nice amount of crispiness on the outside and a really good filling. Again, a great way to start because we got some big dishes coming and this is just a way to like rev up the appetite like vroom, 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 with the egg roll. Love soup. Love soup in so many different forms. Oh, there's a lot of sliced pork in here. Mmm. Ooh, mm, so sweet pork. Mmm. Ooh, perfect bite. Mm -hmm. This was a pleasant surprise. I told Narissa, like, order anything off the menu that you want, because I know what I want to get, and it's on the way. To me, the egg go-to was the egg drop soup, and I'm glad we got this, but <clears throat> the one-ton soup, I didn't know what to expect, because I never had it in a restaurant, and I really like it. Uh, broth is, it's a clear broth, but it's still very flavorful. And those green onions really, they're a key component to this soup. And inside the little dumplings are nice and hearty. Really just my highest praise for these soups. So good. Mm-hmm. presenting a comedy sketch where I serve food. This is a beautiful lo mein. We chose shrimp for this one. Came with a few veggies like celery. I see some um, bean sprouts too. It smells good. Gotta get Lewis a bunch of shrimp. Red's a lucky color in Chinese culture, so maybe that's why the orange chicken is red. It's got a reddish hue. I can't, I think I need to pull it closer to me. Oh yeah. Maybe that's part of the comedy sketch. <laughs> it's too far. <laughs> These portions are ginormous. Like I could think, when I used to live by myself, I, if I were to order something like this, this probably would last me an entire week. Just one dish, orange chicken. <laughs> Comes with a little broccoli on the side. And I like how there are orange slices too. Balance. That looks like a beautifully well-rounded plate. Ta-da! Let me tell y'all what we ordered today. We got an order of shrimp lo mein. There's some pan-fried noodles with some shrimp in there, vegetables like bean sprouts, 
also got a pork fried rice. A nice heaping portion with eggs and green onions and beautiful deep brown color. And then, wow, the piece de resistance in my book. Orange peeled chicken, got a couple of orange slices there and some steamed broccoli. Pork fried rice, orange chicken, two of my all time favorite Chinese American dishes. I can't even tell you how many times I've eaten these dishes in my entire life. Whether it was from takeout boxes or dining in, this is so exciting right now. And of course, yes, we ordered a lot of food. We're definitely not gonna be able to put this all away in one sitting, but that's what takeout's for. Narissa was generous enough to fix me up a whole plate here. I, I'm just gonna try the orange chicken first. That beautiful deep red color. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Just like Bubby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like Bubby used to make it. Mmm. Yo, that's that's amazing. Mmm. It's a perfect orange chicken. Super crispy on the outside. Nice thick orange flavored glaze and just juicy meat inside. This is a perfect 10 out of 10 for this dish. Believe that. <laughs> yeah. With a name like Orange Garden, you gotta figure like the orange chicken is gonna be maybe the best dish that you can get here. But I wanna try the fried rice now. Like I said, pork fried rice is something I always used to order. Love those little cubes of pink pork. Mm. Mmm. <laughs> Yo, that's good. Excellent. I have so much here, too. <clears throat> Lunch for a week. Hell yeah. <laughs> the pork fried rice and the orange chicken were my selections. Narissa wanted to get a noodle dish, so we figured either the lo mein or the chow mein. In the end, we decided to go with the lo mein since the noodles, vegetables, and meat are all mixed together and they're crispy. And really thin noodles too, so they should have like a nice bite to them. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, seriously incredible. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with y'all. I knew we were in for a nice, pleasant dining experience. I mean, after all, they wouldn't have been here for 91 years if they didn't make pretty decent food. But look, I just I really, I really wanna share with y'all, this is, this is incredible. This is, these three dishes, the soups and the egg rolls, just a magical dining experience. I'm so glad that we can be a part of this legacy, a restaurant that has been here for decades, has been through you know, the ups and downs of, of the restaurant industry, has seen economies crash, build back up. And all the while, these time-tested dishes, these recipes that have just you know, survived word of mouth and legacy, just throw all those words in there. Now, it's not the typical Chinese food that you might find in Chinatown. And of course, you all know, we go to Chinatown frequently. It's one of our favorite neighborhoods to visit both here and in New York City. This is more of the Chinese American style cuisine. There are some haters out there that try to say this isn't authentic Chinese food, but this is as authentic as you're gonna get. Also, these shrimp are super plump. Really, really, I love shrimp with noodles together. It's a perfect combination. When Chinese immigrants first came over in the late 1800s, they kind of had to make do with whatever ingredients were available to them and kind of had to call back on their memories from back home in China. So they came up with a lot of these dishes that survive to this day, like the orange chicken, like the lo mein. They also make chop suey here. There's beef and broccoli. This won't be our last time here. Let's just put it that way. I am thoroughly impressed and so happy to be here. Just to be a part of this community at Orange Garden, it makes me really happy. I love good food, but I also love a great story. So put those things together in a beautiful mashup. You've got Orange Garden right here. What's nice is when you have this combination plate, you get a little bit of everything. You got some noodles, some rice, some orange chicken. May as well just eat them all in one bite. 
got to treat those flavors like prize-winning boxers and just let them duke it out in the ring. The ring, of course, just be my mouth. Got a little orange with the, the with the right and the lo mein with the uppercut, and then the um, then the fried rice with the jab. <laughs> I was trying to remember all the boxing punches. I'm gonna have to go home and watch Rocky after this. And I'm gonna try the steamed broccoli. Mmm. Cheers. As you're watching this and we're enjoying these beautiful Chinese dishes here at Orange Garden, you gotta make sure you show us some love too and hit that subscribe button. See what else? I might just grab a piece of orange chicken right off the plate. Ooh. <laughs> I have got to go for the lo mein first. It's my dish, it's what I picked. I'm assuming it's amazing. I was saying that I always ordered wonton soup when I was younger. The second thing that I would order were noodles, specifically soy sauce noodles. This is, this is bringing me back. I served myself up another plate of food like I said, we're not gonna be able to finish all this. So after I finish this plate, we'll probably start putting the rest into takeout boxes. About a year or so ago, they sold their historic neon sign that was on the storefront that said Chop Suey. I think one of the Smashing Pumpkins members bought it or something. Then rumors started to swirl that they might be closing down for good. And of course, like I read this, I'm like, that's not good. Like I gotta get in there and make a video before that maybe happens. I honestly don't know the status of what that is right now. It doesn't seem like that's gonna happen, but Gusto Nation, I want y'all to assemble and come visit Orange Garden, get takeout, dine in. All these dishes were good. I cannot wait to try the beef and broccoli, the General Tso's chicken, the vegetable egg roll, all the different soups. They have different noodle dishes. So I often have cravings for Chinese American food, but I don't necessarily act on them because I didn't know where to go. It's hard to say, you know, but now I know exactly if I have a taste for an egg roll or some orange chicken or beef and broccoli, I'm calling up Orange Garden and saying, save me a table. Also, I gotta say the service has been amazing. We got some hot tea, we got it refilled, we got the plates nice and hot. So yeah, of course I had the idea to come here for a video, put it on the channel, and I expected good food, but to get a spread like this where every bite is life-changing. Not only does it remind me of the food I ate growing up, it's also elevated, dare I say, right? It's, it's like these dishes, you kind of know the flavors and textures to expect, but somehow like it exceeded those expectations and it it's not your average food. It's, it's really, really good. It's definitely worth a visit. Yo, that was such a phenomenal meal at Orange Garden. I really am truly happy we finally got to patronize this establishment, which has been in Chicago for over 90 years. Every single dish that we ordered was so, so good. And we got lots of leftovers. This food might last us the entire week if Rowdy doesn't get to it first. So I was talking with the owners and it's been in the family for over 30 years now, but they're actually currently looking to sell. So I promised them that I would put the word out in case you're wanting to get into the restaurant industry, we'd rather keep our local places, institutions alive. So that's my little spiel on that. Make sure you finesse that like button if you enjoyed this food as much as we did. I know y'all didn't necessarily get to eat with us, but you got to hang out with us. And so we thank you for joining us. Make sure to come by Orange Garden. They do delivery, takeout, dine-in, the whole shebang, Orange Garden, gets my five diamond award, not just for the amazing food and incredible service, but just for being part of Chicago for over 90 years. We will see you next time. Peace.